I'm Jim Croce, and I live here. You know, I've, I've spent about 10, 11 years playing in bars, fraternity parties, doing uh, rock and roll, country and western, bluegrass. That screaming you're hearing back in there is my little boy, Adrian James, uh, trying to sing. Hey, why don't you bring him out? If I could save time in a bottle. Hi, it's Amber Red for a new video. Today I'm telling you one of my one of the store my favorite artists named Jim Croce. Like the one I did with Johnny Cash. I did actually that. So, do you remember when when actually I did Johnny Cash? So how did I know that Jim Croce? So this artist, I'm telling you how I knew it for the first time. I went to the record store at Tarpon Springs. It's next to my house. I often go to that record store to buy some CDs, get a lot of fun, new music. So the record store, here I am, searching for a CD of Van Halen or maybe so when I went in searching, I went for the letter J and found Jim Croce. I said, what is Jim Croce? I want to listen to it. It Like if someone, like if he was calling me. So, and actually, I buy it. And actually, that I love Jim Croce. What did I do with it on him? So, I loved it, so I wanted to do a documentary on him. Like I did with John Cash. So, but I do not know a lot of his childhood. Just that his father's name was James Croce and mother Laura Mary. And he was born in Philadelphia during World War II on January 10, 1943. Me? I was born in 2013, like I said, in Johnny Cash. It's 70 years after his birth. You shall not be a genius or not. At five years old, you could play Lady of Spain on an accordion. And he began guitar like me but and he listened a lot of ba Bach and Beethoven what inspired him for the sequel so he went to the university and he did that did inspire him a lot but he played guitar and did music band instead of going to school with his band he went to play to Africa to play the water has revelation, and he was interested in folk. It was in 1964 when he began listening to Bob Dylan and Joe and Bess. And I saw her in real for her, for her last show in Oakland when I was five years old. And so Peter, Paul, and Mary. But I do not like Peter, Paul, and Mary, even if they're a genius in folk. He began playing on clubs and bars, and he did a lot of jobs, and mostly truck driver, a profession that has influenced many of his songs. And he got married with Ingrid Hiroshi or Jacobson, his only wife, and for Ingrid, her only husband. They worked together and did concerts and, and even an album. They released their first al album in 1966. The name of the album is Faces. And it was well successful with 500 co copies sold. But it's a little bit far from um, the Rolling Stones or things like that. Then he released photographs and memories that I have. And it worked so well, but on my album, it has bonus tracks. Because he did a song named Operator. Yes, it is. 
that's not the way it feels. 93 weeks in the Billboard 200 charts. It launched his career. Could you help me place this call? See the number on the matchbook is old and faded. She's living in LA with my best old ex friend Ray. Gosh, she said she knew well and sometimes hated. From there, went to the concerts and television and. He was surrounded by a great team of musicians, the guitarist, Maury Mokhais, the producer, Terry Cashman, Tommy West, and Gary Chester, drummer who started with the Monkees and the Coasters. I used to listen to, to this when I was little. Little South Side of Chicago is the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just be well of a man named Leroy Brown. And after he might, I think, is that he did his last album at age 30. His album Life and Time did. The, on the Billboard Top 200, 100 for 93 weeks, but somehow and actually, and actually, after he died in a plane crash, but no luck. By going on a concert, the pilot died. With, the pilot died from a heart attack. The plane crashed. Jim Croce didn't know. What and the band didn't us? know how to do. Maybe they crashed. Everyone on the plane know. died. So doesn't it remember you the, same. the day when the music died? Buddy Holy, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper? You Her? Doesn't remember Maybe you the 27 Club? The 23? 3? Oddest Red? 24? And a lot, and a lot else. So this is, so goodbye, and goodbye. I hope you liked it. Goodbye. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you. If I could make days last forever If words could make wishes come true I'd save every day like a treasure and then again